And Good away luck. we go. All right, it says we are live. This so, is part three, yeah? This is part uh, four. Four. Yeah. Um, okay, well, uh, welcome to Delta Green and the Darkness Spoke, part four, uh, where we join our intrepid agents investigating serial, serial killer in Queens, uh, New York, circa 1986. And I believe we're on June 7th, after having been through a rather interesting exchange at a hotel. No more hotels. <laughs> um, that's, that's so the rule. last I recall, you guys were talking about going to the disaster house and cleaning, cleaning shop there. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. So it's up to you guys. Plan and plot as you will. No. Yeah. I well, push you. I mean, didn't we we ended on a on the latest disaster, right? Because the horrible shit monster yeah. had appeared, and the cops were coming, and yeah, you guys, you're gonna assume you're you're free and clear of the situation in your car. You did not report to the local police because the last time you were told basically keep it in your pants. Mm -hmm. This is two times in two days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can only assume there's a warrant for your arrest somewhere at the local police station. So we don't have a chance to. No one was killed in this. We didn't have a chance no to ex was explain it away as a party gone wrong. <laughs> no. No. Even with the multiple gunshots around the room and the, the exploding window and all, yeah, and the shit all over the place. Yeah, no. We yeah. had a really They're gonna stressful go in there and day. Go, what the? What happened? We had a really yeah. stressful yeah. time. We just had to blow off some steam. We had some exactly. Bud Light. It got yeah, away that from us. Fly. It got away from us. We'll admit that. <laughs> We're all fellow cops here, so let's just be cool. Oh, hang on. Well, I think we had talked about the potential to just blow up the danger house, but. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have any explosives, so. Disaster. Sorry, disaster house. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have um, we have um, we have glass bottles. I got a we have uh, glass bottles and jerry cans. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. Yeah, I, I'm for that. Like staying far away from it and lobbying explosives. <laughs> my, my, only, my only suggestion is that we do this during the daytime so that. <laughs> they're exposed to light when it goes up. But the problem with that is, of course, we're doing it during the daytime and people will see things. <laughs> I um, like how this plan was like, let's work with the police. Let's go to the police scene. Let's run from the police. Let's blow up buildings. The police at all yeah. gone. <laughs> going well. So some of those gang bangers were going to help us. They were all for us uh, taking out their rivals at the disaster house. That's definitely true. The United Blood Nation. Yeah, we could get them to sort of keep people away, maybe. You know? Maybe. I mean, I, I feel like we could do the destruction on our own if we got them to sort of run interference with any possible witnesses. It's up to you guys. Yeah, maybe we can talk to them. Everybody for doing that? Killian? Alton? Yes? No? Uh, no. Yeah, I think so. you guys take the lead for a second. I'm I'm checking on something here, on the on on Twitch okay. settings. Well, then that, then that, do we have so we do we have the supplies that we need? I think we question. do. Okay, well then let's head over there. Okay. okay. Park where what, we did what, last what time. time. Uh, what what time is it right now? It's it's relatively early in the morning still. It's about eleven thirty. Okay. Well, that that gives us time to sort of reach out to the to the gang the 1 30 a.m no no in the morning, yeah, morning. it's like 11 30 in the morning you guys <laughs> you guys you guys woke up went up went about your business until all hell broke loose right, in the... fled and then regrouped in the car basically all right how is alton yeah, feeling by the way yeah, yeah. uh Alton is feeling a little lightheaded and 
his mouth is red, his nostrils red. Looks like he has, um, you know, either a serious case of hay fever or the beginning of some sort of like hives. Well, we've seen the outcome of exposure in Tig's case, so I think we can keep an eye out for those symptoms. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm definitely watching him to see how it goes. Okay. So, but but we, have we rested at all? At no, all? not not really. I mean, you you took a, you basically took a breather, pulled off the side of the highway in the car mm -hmm. to compare notes and try and figure out what to do next. You're all yelling at each other, and yeah. <laughs> obviously, uh, very close to collapse. Tensions uh, are. But, well, before yeah. we do this, we should probably get some rest. I mean, we've we've got a little bit of time. We go park under the overpass and yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, okay, so you guys you guys pull in under the uh, the uh, the Van Wyck Expressway or the Nassau Expressway and just kind of uh, into a lot that has a bunch of abandoned cars in it, um, and just park and rest uh, in the heat. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, if you guys want to plan or plot or anything like that, let me know. Okay. okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I think the the plan is to get hold of the the gang. Okay. Some Molotov cocktails. Okay. And uh, can you hear me? Do we have any? You, yeah. You got us, Alton. Yeah, I can think you? I was on mute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Do we have? We don't have any explosives, I guess. Not just any. No. Other? No. Oh, explosives ability skill. I don't know. Yeah. No. Um, no. I don't think I so. Do. Do you? I got 20. And we all know how safe it is for someone with 20 demolitions to stuff. <laughs> I got zero. I got nothing. So. I got nothing, too. What but about, what about Shane? No. Nothing. No, nothing. See? I'll handle the explosives. Then we should know by now. Do we have explosives? We have explosives. Molotov cocktails. We have Molotov cocktails. I think that's going to have to do. Do we have any? Um... We have what a else? couple we, of we shotguns. Need, I feel like we need something bigger to really destroy that house well, i don't had... know that molotov cocktails are gonna so do... yeah tignell and green if you uh Like lifting a rock off of a bug. A bunch of gasoline well, and spread it around. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. I just feel like I want it to mm -hmm. explode, though, you know? Mm hmm Just for satisfaction. Well, uh, I, think... I mean, no, just to kill whatever's in there and uh, to destroy the nastiness that we've seen inside there without giving them a chance to escape. So I feel like we need to maybe see if we can get hold of some, like, explosives of some sort to to really do the job. I mean, 1986, is there is there less tracking of stuff now? When's, uh, when was uh, Oklahoma City? It was 80? Oh, no, it's much later than that. Yeah, so... That was 95. 95? Yeah, 95. So, yeah, so, we're, so there's probably not a lot of, you know, all that tracking stuff <clears> and fertilizer or whatever they do now. Yeah, buying dynamite here would be a problem, but getting industrial fertilizer would be a lot easier than it would be now. Yeah. So if we want to try to make a bomb with my 20% demolition. <laughs> I, I really don't trust that. You're feeling good about that? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but, unless, uh, yeah. Unless we can arrange yeah. things so carefully you know, that you don't have to pick up dice. Went away after a, with a 14% demolition partner. <laughs> the bluey. And we've lost Shane. We have. Did you lose? Well, me? so my plan is either. Oops. Did I shoot that? Okay. Yeah, it's just reconnecting so Shane pop back on. Am Did I still he, here is now? He back? Yes, you're here. Is it oh, working okay. now? We don't have him. We're gonna reconnect. Okay. Do we just do here? Yeah. Just. Yep. They'll have to reconnect to see you, Shane. Yeah, our signals are being crummy. Sorry okay. if there's an audience. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
so uh, you guys are planning on taking a rest and then returning to the disaster house to put paid to them. But as I described, most of these bungalows are made from concrete. The roof would burn, the floors would burn, but not the walls, most likely. Shit. Um, That's what I'm so, come up with something. so Green, you were you were in the Marines. Do you know anybody that could hook you up? We can try. I mean, I can see if there's anybody in the in the army, actually. But yes, army. Okay. Um, I can try to contact. See if there's. I'm sure I've got somebody I know in New York City. Yep. So, so you're going to give a call, and uh, why don't you uh, give me a a luck roll and then a persuade roll? Okay. Hang on a sec. Okay, One of your sketchiest friends. Yes. <laughs> luck is a three. Very nice. What's the other thing you have to look? Persuade. Is nope. Uh, I'm not that persuasive, no. Okay. Um, hang on a second. Let's get this right. Random name. Do, do, do. Okay, so you... you you call up uh, a, a sergeant who was career and is retired. This guy, uh, Gerald Oliveri, who lives in um, White Plains, New York, not Manhattan. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, you know, he's happy to hear from you. You guys used to drink together. Um, but as you slowly start to shift the subject towards that, you get a very strong feeling. Um, uh, either he's had a, uh, a significant change of heart uh, recently vis-a-vis uh, -vis lying or crime or uh, he thinks he's in a sting or he's, you know, a newborn Christian or something like that because he basically... Oh, he knows I'm a cop as well. What's that? He knows yeah. I was a cop too. Yeah, yeah, but the way you're kind of inching around stuff, he obviously sounds very suspicious and says things indicating... Well, I wouldn't want to break the law under any circumstances very loudly and out of character. Exactly. All right. Well, I'll, I'll uh, say we need to catch up sometime and uh, let him go. Okay. So. Right. That's, that's, that's gone. No moss. No. All right. So what? the insides of these bungalows are going to be... Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're not going to be all concrete all the time, right? I mean, they're going to, no, they need no, no. interior walls and floors. Uh, the, the, almost all the walls are poured concrete. The floors are wood. The roofs are wood. The window frames are wood. The stairs would be wood. But the interior walls are, are literally poured concrete. That's a real thing. That's yeah. not. <laughs> no, I believe you. I'm just... Our lives difficult. <laughs> it's not just to make your lives difficult. These are places I've been. Mm -hmm. uh, well, what's a di what's a different uh, method of destruction? And let's think outside the box of shooting lots know. of people. Go knock it down. Poison gas. <laughs> oh my God, you guys become a terrorist organization. Yeah, exactly. Um, Let's just get a backhoe and knock it down. Yeah, can't get one over there. It's got to go across that I canal. Mean, you know, we could, we could, we could set them up with the the gang that already hates them there being there. You know, I mean, if we could in some way convince the 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 street gang that's there that this place is a problem and the cops are gonna are gonna fall down on it if you don't clear it out. I think they already, like they when we met them and talked to them before going over there, they were like, okay, I think they got, I got the sense they thought this place was pretty hinky anyway, and they were just avoiding it. Mm -hmm. But they were perfectly happy for us to go in and talk with them. So, so I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'm pretty sure we can convince them to like clear the area for us. I don't know if we can convince them to go in and do the deed for us. Yeah. Well, maybe we go in and do the deed, and then and and. Enlist them to, to tear it down. To is there? I mean, is there still stuff in there that um, we don't want 
normal people to see. Besides the cultists? Besides the people? Right. Or thing. Whatever they are now? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, that's, I didn't see... that's the question. All I saw was, all I saw was messed up people. And with... buckets of shit. And buckets of shit everywhere, yeah. <laughs> and was it that kind of shit or <laughs> or the accepted yeah, kind the, of shit? It was the literal kind. Yeah, it seemed like. Or that, not the the live thing we just encountered? Right. Uh, so the, 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 the obese British guy, he, he transformed during the whole hotel incident. Yeah. We, th we don't believe he is around here. So at least we've got that going for us, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I got to look on the bright side. Um, yeah, I mean, we have, Jesus, so we have to deal with that, with that house, and, um, and we have to deal with the actual manuscript that has the rituals that somebody apparently used, and we have right. photocopies mm -hmm. of that ritual, and we need to explore whether the, the photocopies are going to tell us anything useful, like how to make this horrible god go away. Mm -hmm. Well, I poured over them really, really good. Is there, did I notice anything that might be of help? Uh, you, you notice, I mean, the, the rituals in there don't seem to concern anything like dismissal or um, they're more rites of worship. So if you want to kowtow properly to this god, you, you probably know how pretty well. I don't know, maybe it'll come to that. Exactly. We, might, we might be at that point. Soon. So, what are you guys doing? Um, it's up to you guys if you want me to try to put together a bomb. But I, I would rather just go and, if, especially if we can get the roofs off of these things, I just think exposing them to sunlight would do it a lot. Maybe a, a whole lot of gasoline poured in there burn it out leave it a burned out husk right exactly well, yeah that i mean i think that's the best we're going to be able and be to prepared to take, take, take the out problem is how, how many of these things are there in the in the in that vicinity well we how many of the houses or how many people in the cluster in the, in the little cluster of bungalows the i guess that that cluster we saw how many would you say when we ran through there uh quite a few couple dozen think. maybe yeah yeah because, I mean, you know, we burn one of them. What are the people going to do? Go to the next one. What, what do you mean? I mean, so if we, we burn one of those... People, not just burn it out, because then they'll just... Oh, no, no, no. We have to burn the whole complex. The whole little... It's only what's four. It's four clustered around a courtyard. Yeah. So we've got to take out the whole thing. And be prepared to take out the people as they come out. Which is why we need to do it probably before it gets dark. Because... Yes. Because they, they were very like shy of light. light. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what are the... We've been there. What are the sight lines? I, I, no, actually, I think only the two of you have been there. What are the sight lines around right. that place? It's, it's basically other ruined buildings to the west. Or, sorry, to the east. Uh, to the west is a um, canal with a, a, like a simple dropped plank wood crossing. And then a field of... You, like chest high grass uh which runs under the part of the raised parkway and then maybe about three or four hundred feet uh there's the street um so when you look from the street what you see is a lot of grass the tips of roofs in the distance but not much else um, you can't see the canal you can't see anything like that you have to walk through this grass to get yeah. there but so, there are beaten paths through there. I, I mean, if there's like a flurry of gunshots and shit going off over there, it's not like nobody's going to hear that, right? But that's or, far That's far Rockaway. I mean, when Tiganello and Green were there, I think they heard a gunshot anyway. Yeah. 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 It's it's and crack central. That's, so. why that's why I'm saying if we enlist the help of the, the gang to sort of, you know, to keep any stray, stray people away or whatever so that we can get in there do our business and get out. I mean, they, they're going to be for getting rid of that place. So I think they'd be willing to, to at least do that. It's not ideal, but... No, it's not ideal, but it's all we got. <laughs> okay. 
in a perfect Delta Green world. <laughs> You'd see in some station in Utah, <laughs> pressing the button on the Predator drone. <laughs> I mean, if there's anything anybody else has, I'm I'm for it. But yeah, I, I think this may be the best plan <laughs> is that we have. What could go wrong, you guys? Oh, we got it well thought out. Let's go. Let's do it. So all we need to do is in the okay. middle of the day go to drug infested territory, burn down four bungalows, and yeah. potentially kill a couple dozen people. What could go wrong? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Foolproof plan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Do, what are you do, doing? Do we want to do this before we deal with the uh, with the book, or do we want to get the book first, assuming that, you know, we're all certainly going to either well, die or get arrested in in our uh, attack. If That's we get the book now, um, yeah, the only probably. risk is that if it gets dark, we can't really do this because I think they're right that we really need to do this in daylight, which means waiting till tomorrow. Yeah, so it's it's a little after midday now, after that rest. Um, driving into Manhattan and, and performing some sort of crime there will most likely eat up the rest of your day. Especially if it's midday and we're trying to break in to yeah. get the book. Well, yeah, I mean, the, how we get the book is the, is the next... Tomorrow or, you know, do the other thing first. So. Right. I'm all for trying to take this place out now. Oh, before we get the book? I mean, what's the advantage of getting the book first? Is that, that the book is gotten and, and is in our or in possession. So in case we in get case killed we or arrested there. here? Yes. Right. Yeah. I, I, I can see that. Yeah. I, I, my, my attitude is the book is the vector. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm, yeah. You know, I'm not opposed to that. I just think we need to then hit the book tonight and then do the book yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. If yeah, they can't yeah. do anything right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do that then. Let's so I say let's the... get a hotel. <laughs> not get a hotel. And sleep for five or six hours. And then... <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Not sleeping inside any place. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll be right um, back. But yeah, let's let's go and try to get that uh, book. Okay. Mm. So <laughs> back to back to Grolier's. We'll just take our car with our shotguns and gasoline. <laughs> yeah. Right and we'll probably have to get a lot more gasoline and, and bottles and, <laughs> no, and uh, supplies yeah. if we're burning down like a dozen houses. Yeah, how, how many are you burning down? Yeah. Four, as far as we know. <laughs> They're bungalows. They're so yeah. practically huts. That, that's true. Yeah. Parking back to Vietnam. So yeah. burning down some huts. <laughs> um, okay, so you're driving into Manhattan. I guess your guy wouldn't get you a flamethrower either, huh? Nothing. No. He, he did not want to break the law. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hello, federal agent. <laughs> I don't think I want to sell you any I mean, illicit. You know, we're all FBI here. Can we? Uh, you know, we can. We can. We can hit the. Uh, try to hit the. Hit the black market. Go undercover. I'm all for a good flamethrower. Posing we can get as, it. you know, what crazy, you crazy survivalists. Yeah, well, I would say um, the only downside there is Manhattan and Long Island are probably the worst place to do that. Um, I mean, it, it's finding a flamethrower. You, you might be able to find a World War II flamethrower that's on display, mounted on a wall somewhere <laughs> that hasn't been turned on in, you know. 40 years right but um yeah i highly doubtful you'll find a modern flamethrower or an explosive they tend to be a little careful with that stuff around here yeah, yeah. well i guess our gasoline and uh molotovs will have to do that's pretty destructive anyway so yeah all right on on to the book on to the book all right so i am not the the most useful on a B&E mission so is there anything i can be doing that doesn't involve me actually going into the place um i mean we're, we're gonna need lookouts basically we need lookouts and we need somebody to to get inside and steal the thing i mean my plan is oh. is if we can get inside it's and it's after hours then just sort of vandalize and bust the place up 
you know, and act like we're stupid ass kids, you know, mm -hmm. spray paint pentagrams on the floor or something. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, good idea. Um, and then get the hell out. Um, okay. I mean, well, I'll I, stay I, with the car. I broke the I broke the lock on the roof. So if there's a convenient drain pipe that's really easy to climb up, then we could we could try that route. Um. What was security like in the building when you were in there? Did you see anything? Yeah, they had they had it pretty well. They had sense yeah, they had sensors on the windows and doors. Um and on the the hatch to the roof. But I broke the one on the hatch to the roof. So if you can get in the roof and then come down and unlock a door. Yeah, assuming they sense. haven't replaced it, you know. Um then then right, then that's that's a way in. Um Okay. Does anybody have a have athletics better than fifty? Oh no. <laughs> nope. Alien, you're it. Oh great. <laughs> okay, so uh, Te teaching arrive... classics at St. John's did not prepare me for this. <laughs> you arrive in Manhattan at about a quarter to one. Um, you pull up uh, to forty seven East Sixtieth Street. And uh, there's there's the uh, three level brownstone. Um, it's still midday, so yeah, I people think are this returning is, from lunch. Right, I think this is where we like, I don't know, find some yeah. flea bag hotel to just crash and get some sleep because we're going to okay. have to do this at night, and we're all we've all got to be strung out horribly. Yeah, yeah, you guys are exhausted. Um, okay. And so I, I guess uh, I'll I guess I'll buy some I'll have to buy some uh you know some some breaking and entering clothes. <laughs> sure. So uh you guys end up at the you know pay pay per hour Muldoon and motel uh which is on fifty seventh street. Uh it's a dump. It smells horrible, uh but it's relatively cheap. Uh and a I'll, porn uh, shoot going on next door. Yeah. <laughs> Killian buys a whole bunch of, um, uh, you know, I love New York kind of standard garb um, with a big black pull black hooded pullover that he can zip up and, mm -hmm. you know, black socks and black gloves and all that kind of stuff and, uh, without any problem, except it's a bit more expensive than you had imagined. Thing of um, spray paint and a crowbar. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eyebrows. Yeah, well, hopefully, buying them in separate <laughs> places. <laughs> the spray paint and crowbar and backpack bodega. Yeah. That's described. That describes it's, a lot of bodegas. It's nineteen eighties um, New York. They're used to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have they have a little kit. It's like a <laughs> it's like a bag of fruit. You oh, you want the breaking and, and entering kit? Here, yeah. Here, here you here. go. Um, Why didn't you? So say? okay. Uh, by the time you guys all regroup. Uh, it's going on uh, about 3.34. Um, you're all sitting in this kind of ruined, stinky room facing an air shaft uh, and, you know, taking various turns, sleeping in the long chair or on the double bed. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you're, you're all exhausted. Is there a window unit? Can we crank it up? Yeah, yeah, but it... it um... I'm sure it's not very effective. Yeah, it's it's kind of crappy. You have to sit directly in front of it to get any effect from it. But obviously, they haven't recharged the Freon in a long time. Okay, Killian, the yeah. witching hour comes. All right, who's going? Yeah, I mean, I, I, so I think we need to. I'll go. Uh, yeah, I, I think we all need to go because, you know, mm -hmm. we we need to we need lookouts on either side of the alley, and. Somebody at the base of the building in case I fall and break my neck. Right? Well, I'll, I'll be in the car at one corner, keeping an eye out on one end of the alley. And Alton, you're going with him? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. I'm just looking at my... Uh... So I guess I'll be down at the bottom, like, just keep, keep an eye on everything, yeah. Sure. Okay, yeah. so looking at my my skills, seeing if I have anything potentially useful, and I kind of don't. So, <laughs> okay, Killian, um, you guys 
approach uh, Grolier is this area is, a, you know, was light industrial at one point. So um, past eight o'clock, all the streets kind of roll up. There's nobody walking around. It's, it's quiet and dark. Uh, the building seems locked up as normal. Um, and uh, everything is as you remember it. Walking down the alleyway, you see this small back area with the fence, the kind of smoking patio with high grass. Um, what, what I'm after is... is, um, is uh, Drain uh, pipe. Yeah, yeah, like a like a nice sturdy drain pipe that leads from the roof to carry the runoff down to the gutter. All right, give me and... a luck roll. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like fire it's escape. It's an old brown right? There's not a there's not a fire escape or anything. There is there, is there is in the back. Okay. He wants to hop the fence. Hmm. Ew. Not quite. If there is a pipe, if there is a pipe, it's around. It's either around back or on the far side, squeezed in that tiny little space Control. between the buildings. Well, I mean, that's where I need to be anyway. I don't. I'm not climbing up the front of the building where anybody can see it. No, no, no. You, you misunderstand me. Okay. There's an alleyway on one side. Alleyway on one side. That's the yeah. big alleyway. Yeah. Then there's the back area, fire escape, pipe. Then there's a tiny little. You couldn't even fit in an alley between the next building and this. Gotcha. The pipe okay. may be okay. in there. Right, right, you right. don't know. Okay. Um, all right. So, so plan B. What? Uh, the, there's fire a escape. there's a fire escape. Yeah, you can hop the back fence. There's no razor wire or anything. All right. I'll I'll do that. I'll tell okay. you're on lookout duty. Okay. Okay, Alton. You're standing facing this kind of. Um, alley with a half dozen doors none of which are open right now when killian awkwardly climbs to the top of the fence and uh hops down on the far side into the uh the grass um there's a fire escape directly above the back door it goes all the way to the roof all right hop up to and uh, grab that thing and okay it, this is an this is an athletics roll Is it really though? You ever, have you ever played? <laughs> have you ever played on a fire escape? Yeah. It's hard to get up there. Because I can tell you, they're not exactly the safest things in the world. <laughs> the point that they don't want people jumping up and climbing up in their building. Yeah, yeah, they tend to um, shoot out and do random things. Oh. Okay. Okay. So. Balls. You jump up and hook the bottom of the ladder with both hands mm -hmm. uh, and then <laughs> release uh, one hand as the ladder shifts suddenly and you basically jump out of the way as this you know maybe 250 pound wrought iron ladder drops from the fire escape to the courtyard below just with a horrible, huge clang. Fuck. Um, but you're okay. It could have landed on you. Uh -huh. uh, but you're staring up at a gap now, which is insurmountably high up the wall. Like, you couldn't possibly jump that high. Um, if someone stood beneath you, you might be able to Shit. grab it. All right. So... I have that crowbar. Can I just pop the chain on that fence so we don't have to waste so much time climbing over? Yeah, yeah. All yep. right, I'm going to do that and okay. get Alton in here. Okay. And Let's get him down. to get him to hoist me. Okay. And I'm trusting my friends to stay on the damn lookout. Okay. So uh, this this boost is another athletics roll. God damn just it. for Killian. Alton, just stand still. Okay. Let, it, let it happen. <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> oh, very good. Much better. Okay. Right. So Killian, uh, making up for your your, your humiliating um, ladder solo, uh, you, you jump up and uh, re recalling, you know, a good decade of pull ups for FBI exams and whatever else. You pull yourself up to the first level of the fire escape, which is 
ratty metal and quite obviously not used at all. Right. Um, it's the paint has been worn away. So it's just raw, raw, you know, like, mm -hmm. um, rusting flakes. Uh, you pull yourself up, you can feel the flakes kind of poking into your knees and in your palms. Um, That's there's a staircase going for. up. Yeah. There's a staircase going up. All right. I'm going to ascend it going as right. quickly as is safe. Cause okay. this is ridiculous. Uh, and okay. And I yeah. hate this. <laughs> okay. Give me a search roll. Search roll, huh? All right. No. Uh, what is that? 65. 65. No. Okay. Uh, you continue to the roof without any problems. Um, on the roof, you see the small hatch that leads into the third level display room that you kind of jimmied with. Um, you know, you have a, a decent view of um, the city south mm -hmm. from here. I'm trying uh, to hunker down towers. and keep low. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you come up to the, the little hatch. Um, now, the, now the question is, does the alarm happen or not? Right. When you open the hatch. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying that. <laughs> are, we, are we taking a vote? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a vote. <laughs> That'd be great if everything worked by vote. <laughs> He's not dead. No. I'm not so sure. Given the, uh, given the U.S. election, we should count on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, you gonna open it? Yes, I am. Okay, you pull open the hatch, uh, half expecting an alarm to go off, uh -huh. but no sound emanates from inside. All right, I'm. Hunkering down, you know, uh, whatever, hustling down the, down that ladder. Okay. I got shit to do. So, yeah, you're inside the third level. You recall this space. It's unlit, though. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's a lot of um, uh, bluish green shadows and tarps thrown mm -hmm. over stuff. And you remember the space was kind of in the midst of being either redecorated or really relayed out. Right. Um. All right, I'm gonna pull a couple of tarps down. Okay. Just just pulling them down, and um, I don't sure. know if there's anything if there's anything underneath them that strikes me as, hey, if I was an asshole teenager, I would fuck with this. Then I'll fuck with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this this takes about you know five minutes of running around here and tagging walls and knocking stuff over, yeah. and just causing yeah. trouble. Um, it looks pretty messed up when you're done with it. Then I'm heading downstairs. Okay. So, uh, here we are on the level with the book. Um, uh, I'm trying, I, I, I don't want to startle you too much, but there's a small <laughs> man um, Damn it. Sit, sitting next to the case uh, reading a book. Uh, he looks up at you as you come down the stairs um, <laughs> and uh, he gives you a wry smile and says, uh, would you like to join me? And points at the chair opposite. <laughs> you don't burn the word up. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Since, since this is, he's obviously not reacting because he, he must have heard all this shit already, right? Yeah, yeah. You've made an awful racket. Sure. Because I was assuming Inside nobody would be here. Have I seen this yeah. guy before? No, uh, he's very small. He has slightly spiked black hair. Um, he's wearing uh, what could be best described as a like a, a knockoff from a Michael Mann movie outfit. Uh, big shoulders and gold chains and shoes. Um, he he just the word that keeps coming back to you is small. He's much smaller than you. Right. All right. Well, I'll say, uh, well, I suppose I should. And I'll he goes, oh, uh, seat. Uh, I, he stands and, and he's holding the book. All right. It's the book from the display. The display is not open. Right. It appears locked. He's holding the book and he, he hands it to you. He goes, this, this is for you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And he says, uh, end the case over there. 
says, uh, have a good evening. And he starts walking down the stairs. Uh. <laughs> What's your name? Ah, he, he smiles and he goes, Americans with their names. Well, what would it matter? You can call me John. And he walks down the stairs. John it is. All right, what's up with the case? Uh, there's a case on the floor. It's a, uh, it's a Nyx bag. It's, uh, you know, this weird white material. It's very big. It looks kind of like parachute thing. It seems to be filled with stuff. Um, you hear the door downstairs open uh -huh. and then shut. Like the front um, door? Take, yeah, take an yellow and green. Uh, you see a, a very small, almost ferret-faced man walk out of the building. Um, he shuts the door. He doesn't lock it or anything. Um, the alarm does not trigger. You don't see Killian. Uh, uh, do we, we don't have any way to communicate among ourselves, do we? We, would have, we didn't no. think of so should yeah, have, no, we should have. We should have done that. Um, so, Killian, um, are, what are you going to do with this bag in the book? I mean, how big is the bag? Is it is it portable? The bag, yeah. I mean, if you want to pick it up, it's it's maybe fifty or sixty pounds. Jeez. Okay, so I'm going to put the book in my backpack and then um, half to the bag and head okay. down head downstairs. Okay, the bag is kind of clanking, you know, as you move downstairs. Um, okay, hold on. I'm going to look inside this fucking bag and make sure I'm not carrying ex plastic explosives that are going to destroy me. Okay. Uh, what you're looking at... Uh, uh, you're looking at uh, American ordnance. Oh, for fuck's um, sake. Grenades. Um, Claymores? No, it's just a ton of grenades from various points in American history. There's, uh, there's, there's an incendiary grenade on the top. There's at least a half dozen of those. Um, there's pineapple grenades. There's just all these explosives shoved in a bag. Um, and okay. uh, I mean, you must, you must have, you know, it's 50 or 60 pounds worth of explosives. You could probably level this floor of the building by yeah. just by detonating one of these. Okay, so I'll I'll head downstairs more carefully. Okay. So b b while that's going on, when we see the guy come out, yeah, I I'm gonna not react quickly enough to do anything with him, but I'm gonna definitely be keeping an eye out to see if Killian shows up because. Oh, okay. And he's, uh, Alton, he's, still, he's not visible. He's in the back, right? Yeah, Alton's in the back. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm heading down to the back door. Okay. So uh, you're at the back door. The wiring still seems to be in place. All right, but I didn't hear a, I, I didn't hear it go off when when he went out the front door. Nope. All right, fuck it. I'm opening the back door and heading outside. Okay. Uh, the second you open the back door, you hear of an alarm outside is going off. All right. Yep. On, on the street. Let's go. So. Uh, Alton, <laughs> Killian suddenly appears holding a, a, a big ass uh, sports bag. I'm um, not big and strong either, so I'm kind of lugging it. <laughs> so you guys hurry out and do the alleyway. Yeah, I'll give him a hand with the bag, and I figure we better ask questions and talk about this later. Go, go, go! Uh, who wants to give me the luck? Who wants to give me the luck roll? Not me. Alton, Alton or Killian? You do it. I'm uh, fucking him up. You're fucking them up. Yeah, as is so bad. Well, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, you're halfway up the alleyway when uh, the back door to what Killian recalls was a Chinese restaurant opens, and you're staring at a man who's staring at you. Uh, now you're like eight feet away from each other. He can clearly see exactly who you are. Uh, you're holding a giant bag 
and the alarm is blaring on this building where the gate is wide open in the back. Um, and he takes an uncertain look at you and then looks out back over his shoulder and starts to back up into the building. The door starts to slowly shut. Right. Jam my foot in the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what can do? I'm going to pull out my wallet and give him all the cash in it. And say, oh. Shh. Okay, give me a persuade roll. <laughs> Better than your luck roll. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. I'm still lugging. I'm lugging toward the car. <laughs> I gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah, so I've motioned to Tig to come get in the car, and I'm going to pull the car around to the open. 68, and my skill is 70. Oh, okay. Ooh, sweet. Okay, he, 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 he doesn't move. He looks frozen in place. He takes the money, and when you pull your foot out, the door just shuts on him. You just see his face go. You're, you're, <laughs> un, you're uncertain if you convinced him or not, but you hopefully have a semi-good feeling about it. And you take off towards the car. Killian's already there loading this stuff. Yeah, so you guys, okay. you guys hop in and uh, you're you're gone. Mm -hmm. um, Killian, you want to share any of this with the group or no? Did, did it, in, either of you see that uh, that little fella? Yeah, yeah we, we saw him come out. out of the building. Who was that? I have no idea. But he gave <laughs> he gave me the book and he gave me a big bag of explosives, and I don't know what the hell's going on. He's not Delta Green. He's not anybody you know. I don't know him. He looked really little. Unusual. <laughs> Odd. But I love him, whoever he is. <laughs> no. That's too you guys go back to the flea bag? Uh, let's go to a different flea bag. Yeah. Okay. That's easy enough. There are yeah. endless sea of flea bags here. <laughs> um, so when you finally take toll of what's in the bag, you know, you're looking at, you know, 60 pounds of ordnance dating back to Korea. Um, you know, the classic pineapple grenade, the more recent M83, the, the incendiary grenade, Vietnam era incendiary grenade. Um, there are, uh, uh, there are just weird explosives you've never heard of or seen before that are stamped, um, with, uh, uh, Russian or Czechoslovakian identification, but they all seem simple enough to use. I'm very familiar with the Vietnam era stuff, so. Sure. So, yeah, so mystery guy waiting for us in the building hey, the the kid, handing us the book, the a bag. bag full of explosives that are the perfect thing that we need to do the next stage of our plan. That's like. Which allegedly no one else knew about. Yeah, a, a little bit too much like you know someone really wants us to do this which makes me kind of not want to do this anymore <laughs> <laughs> somebody who hasn't been in that house yeah <laughs> that's I'm true just gonna, i'm gonna i'm just gonna go with that this guy's an ally and uh we should still go go through yeah. with it i don't so, so what was this creature a god of again which the um the, the, the one mentioned in the so golden yeah. he um i will give you the full description so let's see practice excess in all things the god of murderers and thieves uh the god of desert abomination uh that's about it I think piling on uh, explosives into this place is pretty excessive and will end up in murder. So I think it's well within his crew. <laughs> the whole thief thing, you know. So yeah, I'm. Uh, I don't want to do what this guy wants us to do. If he wants us to do it, it can't be a good thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that little dude was Isogol, because you know I'm half crazy to begin with. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was i consider him an, an ally at this point so i'm good with it. yeah i don't know i'm i'm kind of spooked so i'm gonna can i examine the book is there a way i can tell does this seem like the real deal is this it yeah if you if you want to just um give me a search roll on that you know you're searching for imperfections and you know see if it's fake or 
What was that, 65? Yeah. Okay, yeah, my skills are 50, so no. Um, I mean, it, it looks like the book. Uh, you do note that it has uh, scrawled writing on pages with arrows and underlines that were not there previously in certain areas. And not in the photocopy, I assume? No, not in the photocopy at all. Hmm. Um, these are written in a modern marker type pen, like a flare or a pilot. What sort of things do they say about the things they're highlighting? Uh, things like not true, <laughs> underlined. <laughs> uh, Fake and news. Inconsistent with some book you've never heard of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I suppose there's a possibility that the mysterious owner of the book annotated it himself before making photocopies for sale, but that seems weird in itself, so. So, you guys spend the evening of June 7th crashing in a, you know, a flea-bitten motel um, where there are, you know, steel cages on the door at night and other fun things <laughs> like that. We uh, still have the papers from the cops, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Are they, have they tried to get in touch with us or no? Um, yeah, I mean, you were beeped continuously after the second we hotel them. incident. Right. But, you know, uh, I'll just tell you now, if you go in, there's going to be... Oh, no, no. This investigation no. is over. No, we're <laughs> They're going to be like, we pulled the short straw on the crazy federal team. <laughs> right. They are correct. They're probably wondering. If so, so where are we headed with this? Well, my plan is to stop the spread of the infection i mean that's the only thing i can think of is if we take out the source of the house then ideally no one else gets this stuff on them except for you know that guy running around who could start this whole thing all over again well well that's that's where the book comes in. i mean don't we think that there's something in there to maybe not not I, I, I asked that not that i saw it's all just summoning and worshiping or whatever not killing and destroying not forever and ever. Not please go away and be nice to us. Yes. Yes. Because occult stuff is not my my thing. So well, I'm well, I mean, cult of fifty, but I don't know if that helps. Alton, that's not entirely true. There's, oh. if the god takes physical form and you kill the god, this all. Seems to be a problem for a time. Bad British guy, at, right? Uh, at this, point. we don't know. What if he's just like a harbinger, kind of a? Oh, that fat British dude was the. He's gone though. So, I mean, well, yeah. So, I mean, Alton, technically speaking, if you if you're you know gamifying this, that's the way that you could use this book to get rid of it is to call oh, it man, and then. Kill it. So, yeah. the, so the book dedicated to the worship of this god recommends that you summon the god in order to. Uh... No, it, recommend, just... it recommends that you summon the god, but then it notes that the god has physical form and is is basically vulnerable to the world of man. Oh, jeez. Right. So summon him into the courtyard, of the bungalow. So and I have a we... better plan but... than attacking the bungalow and blowing it up and killing a bunch of people. We summon this demon and use the bag of explosives given to us by a mysterious figure to blow it up. Exactly. Yes, yes. Now you got it. That's it. <laughs> it's a better plan than we have before. It is a better plan. <laughs> I think it's a better plan. It's doubly foolproof. <laughs> we need to go somewhere. The bar, the bar was really low. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where are you going to go? Wow. Is it the plan that we rest up now and, and wait till So what's what's required for the summoning? Is there anything particular oh, time or yeah. materials or anything? Uh, yeah, it's 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 a full moon summoning. Uh, it requires the expenditure of human blood from willing subjects of uh, not an inordinate amount. It, 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 
four people could probably provide it, but you would one of them. You would, not, you would not be in the best of shape after doing it, perhaps. Mm -hmm. uh, it requires a whole bunch of other strange things. Um, uh, lots of chemicals and burning incense and pentacles and pentagrams and uh, ritual chanting and all this other kind of stuff. But it's nothing that Alton, having read the book very carefully, doesn't believe he could do. Um, it doesn't call for like, you know, decapitating a baby or anything like that. Dang. Although it would probably be smiled upon. <laughs> Does that have to be fresh blood? Can we go to like a blood bank or something? It doesn't say anything to that effect. I well, you it said you be... said willing. Yeah. yeah. So. So. Now, if, so if we hired some of those crackheads. That's what I was gonna say. If we go to the crackheads <laughs> and to willingly give us blood, I think that's probably willing. Do you think? I mean, those guys will know. do anything. Sure. That's true. Three bucks. We can get some blood. All right. So if you think you can pull the stuff together, Alton, let's let's get the things we need I'm to. Sure, I can get all those other minor supplies from the. I guess if we want to split up again, I'll go with Alton again. Tig and Green, you've already frequented right, the crackhead community. Okay. If you want to do yeah. some recruiting. Okay. Yeah, Maybe we sure. need to. Do any of us are any of us any good at hot wiring cars? Maybe we need to steal a van to transport the transport our uh, our team. I don't know what the hot Where's wiring skill is. I'm a like a, I'm a decent driver and moderately. Uh, it would be something like electronics. Okay. Under, you know, art, art or. Um, okay, so Alton is going back to the occult bookstore you know, to kind of load up on stuff. Um. And the others are. Uh, Tiganello and Green are going back to Far Rockaway to recruit some crackheads. And talk wow. to the members. This is so politically incorrect. It's not even funny. Well, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's politically incorrect as much as evil. It, it, well, you know. <laughs> the crackheads aren't going to be killed. Oh no, no, of course not. Give us some blood. It's not like it's totally it's... safe. It's Is totally that... safe. Yeah. It doesn't say anything about the condition of the blood, right? <laughs> of course we know. Then these guys are gonna be witnesses to us blowing up whatever manifests. Yeah, well, kids. Can we get the blood and then go and do the ceremony elsewhere? Get the blood, get, the blood get them over... get them really, really high. Yeah. So maybe you guys need to buy a bunch of drugs while you're out too. <laughs> Blood blood gets friends better blood. And better. It's right there in the name. They're bloods. They should be all for it. <laughs> oh, God. It's like the time our characters, what was it, sold heroin to a biker gang to buy illegal weapons? Was that? That sounds was like that a yeah. green adventure. Yeah. Um, Good times. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Alton is loading up on occult gear for the ritual. Tiganello and Green killing. What are you doing? Um, I, I guess I'll, uh, you know, I, I want to see if I can, if I can find a, um, find a van that I can, like a crappy van that I can buy from somebody, okay. uh, cheap. Okay. So okay. Wait, just, just to double check, and none of the annotations about how, you know, this stuff isn't true or ha 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 ridiculous point to that spot that i'm that we're relying on for this plan no it's generally um th there's two major parts of the book i think we've already kind of talked about this the, the beginning of the book is kind of uh, here's the history of this god and the second half of the book is here are his rituals and ha how to please him uh the second half is untouched by annotation the first half is marked to hell so the history stuff is all yeah okay so you're clearly you're right Alton, that, that that was him. Yeah. Um, okay, so Alton, you arrive at the shop, no problem. Uh, you spend several hours pouring through your list and making sure you have everything you need. You're buying, you know, bizarre, you know, I, I need, 
I need 200 milligrams of belladonna root ground up. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, I have that. You know, <laughs> so you're kind of shocked whenever you ask for something. He's like, oh, yeah, I have that. And digs around. And it ends up costing you, you know, almost a thousand dollars to buy everything. Oh. Um, but, you know, he this guy was well prepared here. This, this store is serious business. Uh, Tiganello and Green uh, cruising far Rockaway. You see nothing but crackheads. I mean, nice. Well, let's, of course, of let's course, you guys, part. you guys might be better served to get heroin addicts because you heroin can get them nodding popular. off in a sleep. The crackheads are just gonna. No, there's not too many around. Let's go talk to the Bloods first. Let's go back and park where we did last time. Wait okay. for the bikes to come up and talk to them. Okay. Okay, so uh, you know it's maybe forty or fifty minutes before the um, uh, the uh, the United Bloods uh, Nation guys come up. Uh, it's it's three guys this time. You recognize two of them, the mm -hmm. two two guys you saw before. Um, uh, they you know they they chat with each other at a distance before they come. One rolls over to you, kind of kicking his feet. Mm -hmm. walking his bike over uh and then says uh you burned out the house yet no but we're about to ah okay so he says something back to them that you don't catch and the other two start you know laughing mm -hmm. so he's like what, what do you what do you need well we need to for if you guys can keep people out of the area for a while yeah tonight well, nobody will fuck with you don't worry about it all right, we got Excellent. that covered. Very good. And this one's going to sound a little weird. But well, we prefer you don't ask questions. Just uh... but yeah, we need some folks to uh, to give some blood. Like, okay, he 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 looks he looks at you like his uh -huh. eyes are super wide. Like what? 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 Where is he doesn't say he doesn't say what. He's just looking at you like, and he's like, uh, so like you want it in a Carvel's cup or something? Like, <laughs> I mean, something like that, yeah. A yeah. bag, yeah. Plastic Any plastic bag, bag or, or something, yeah. But they got, they can't, you can't make them do it. Yeah, we, we we'll pay them. We'll pay, we'll pay for whoever wants to give like a. No, 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 no. You're, you're on my bill. You're doing me a favor. Come on. All right, we'll so, just. But don't, it, yeah, well, don't a, force them. Yeah, Any, we just. Uh... He's, he's like, shit, what do you think I am? No, don't worry about it. So he All starts right. walking his bike over across the way on Pacific Boulevard to uh this high rise which once was probably like a place people came for vacation apartments but is now just fucking ruined uh and he he ditches his bike in the front and walks through kind of the the entryway where the uh the mail slots are in this open air and inside in the area that was once a pool the pool is totally emptied except for maybe three or four we uh a feet of kind of blackened water there's maybe two dozen people languishing in this courtyard who are all obviously users. Uh, and they all perk up when this kid comes in. Um, and basically they, some are so gone that they don't even notice you. Some give you very hesitant looks like he's in the midst of getting busted and is pointing out other people to take with him. And, uh, this kid, uh, who's named Beanie, or at least that's what everybody calls him, uh, basically is, you know, shouting for some of these people to come up. Uh, he says something to the effect of, if they want to continue, crack a lack and get your ass up here. And three or four run up. They stink to high heaven. And uh, Beanie's like, shit, yeah, tell them what you want. Okay. Uh, I look around. Is there anything here that would work as a container? Or, uh -huh. or over to get the blood out. Like, <laughs> well, that we seem to. Well, that's the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, there's shit all over the place. There's McDonald's cups. There's, you know. Do, do they have the car with uh, with all the um, the the glass bottles? bottles? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got yeah. bottles too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can get some bottles then. Or use yeah. a jerry okay. can. <laughs> that much blood. <laughs> Did Dalton tell us roughly how much we need? Uh, yeah. Somewhat. <laughs> I, will, I mean, I think they have to supplement with our own later, but we'll go. The, with... 
the measurements are things like enough blood, you know, as found in a she goat and things like that. So it's it's like uh, I think you might need a jerry this? can. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of blood. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, what's we'll tell them we need to eat. We need each person to give us a little bit of blood to pour into this into these bottles. Yeah. Just put one of those gasoline filter, you know, uh, funnels uh, yeah. on the top. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. He, Hold your arm Beanie over gets that. A, Beanie gets a persuade roll. <laughs> he gets you get some bonuses if he's holding up a, a little vial of rocks. He gets, yeah. a he gets a minus 40 on his roll. So, yeah. yeah. Everybody's more than willing to give you all the drugs. Yeah. So no, they all the blood. So they you, you basically end up um, bleeding a whole bunch of crackheads. So this is a first for Delta Green. Um, I'm pretty, pretty sure breaking uh, new ground. Yeah. Uh, and and Beanie's like, you gotta do some like science shit with that or something. Yeah, yeah, gonna test yeah. it for some stuff. Exactly. Okay. Very helpful, Beanie. And he says, "Don't, don't fucking step on my business." No, no, man. We're cool. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take that out. And we're out of here. We're yeah. gonna take your rivals out and, mm -hmm. and be, be gone. Done. Okay, so I won't be seeing your white ass here anymore. Well, next my week. White ass. So. His white ass. Yeah. So. My anyway, black. he he see, yeah he seems pleased, and um, the crackheads all rush off uh, into the complex to smoke up. Mm -hmm. um, None the worse for wear, and they more than willingly gave that blood. All right. Well, excellent. So, they don't know how they've contributed to society. <laughs> Save the world. So he uh, he goes, you know, get going. Yeah, we're yeah, going. We're out. We got to right. wait for our other guys to show. Yeah, just okay. make sure that you you know you keep everybody away till we're out. Yeah, nobody comes down here. Right. Excellent. So you guys leave with a. Uh, Jerry can pull blood. Yep. Two two large glass bottles full of blood that Yeah. Excellent. It's pretty disgusting. And it took some time to figure out how to do it, but you're 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 highly confident you have enough. He's got yeah. medical skill. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Just... Oh then yeah, actually it's Tiganello, right? Tiganello would know how to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Um so uh Killian, you're trying to buy a van. Yeah, well, okay, so did, did I know that they were um, not getting live victims yeah. to bring with them? That was my, I, yeah, that, we, that was my assumption. I may have misunderstood. Yeah, no. We were just going to get not actual crackheads. Yeah, yeah. So if I if I know that they're not actually getting live people to bring, then okay. I, I don't need a van. I'll just I'll okay. Just, I'll just hang out with Alton, like stay in the car or something, and watch his back. Okay. Yeah, so Alton spends a lot of time in that shop and comes out with, you know, three bags full of stuff, candles. And when he puts it in the car, it, it smells like, you know, someone dropped an essential oil sales kit right. on the ground. <laughs> um, and uh, you guys drive back. So by midday, Far Rockway uh, on June 8th, you're all back together. Um, where are you guys going? Yeah, we need someplace really isolated. Like, well, we can. Aren't we going to summon him at the bungalow? Yeah, that'd take care of everything at once. Blue yeah, that's what do once. Summon him at the bungalow and then trash him in the place at the same time. Okay. So, to me, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, right. We've, already, we've okay. arranged with the gangs to keep people away from here tonight. So We just need to plan our... our um, I want to plan really carefully our exit route and then our plan B exit route. And if possible, a plan C exit route. <laughs> <laughs> plan well, F. There's two two obvious exits. One is coming back across the rickety wooden bridge, and the other is going straight into the canal yourself and swimming away. Oh, I meant with the cars, ideally. Oh uh, well, the cars are parked over here. The cars we're gonna leave, we have to leave them parked here up by the overpass because we can't. You can't take a car there. You gotta yeah. walk in. I just I'm, I'm, I want to plan for as soon as there's an explosion, we have X minutes before helicopters come around. Uh, yeah. I mean, I just how fast are they going to respond to that? 
yeah, I mean, who knows? Yeah, who knows? So, I mean, the best we and plus, if we keep the cars over there by the under the overpass, they'll just see people running around. So we'll just be able to get, I think, get be able to get there and get the cars out before. Yeah, it's obvious. How long do we figure it'll take to get from where from from the uh, the houses to the to where the cars would be? If you're running, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, minutes. Yeah. All right. All right. This plan is this plan is a plan for winners. I'm into it. <laughs> I can I can see this going right. Just think positive. Think yeah. positive. So, Alton. Um, I'm going to need you to tell me what uh, 99 uh, minus your current SAN is. Oh, uh, let's see. I've got a very high number, I'm sure. 87. Let's see. <laughs> and, and that overpass is the closest we can get to the house, right? To the bungalows. 63. Uh, you no, know, the overpass is, is, you know, 65 feet off the ground on concrete pillars. Right, but parking under it is the best bet for getting over there. Yeah, that's where we went from last time. Do you understand what I mean, Killian? It, it like okay, so he's talking about underneath the overpass. There's yeah, like a, parking there's a, underneath you. The, there's like a, there's a, a grass that goes field. under. Okay. Yeah, it's a gra grass field. All right. Well, okay. Assuming I did my math right, it's sixty-three. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, it's going on, you know, 3.45 in the afternoon when you arrive at the disaster house. Uh, you park in the grass field. Never you can has see... the name been more apt. Yeah, you can <laughs> see the, you can see the, uh, the wooden, the, the, there's a huge uh, wooden beam that's been chucked across the 12 and a half foot wide canal. Um, take an Ellen Green and walked it before. It obviously sees a lot of activity. Um, what's, the and, weather? Uh, what's the weather like? It's slightly overcast. It's in the 90s. Um, it feels like there may be thunderstorms later in the day. Is it full moonish? Wasn't that one of the requirements? New, new moonish. Uh, new moon no, it's it's not new moonish. But you can wait. Well, how long is that? Uh, it's the eighth, so another 13 days or so. Oh God. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, I am dubious about performing this ritual at the wrong time it's, things okay. go bad and you don't meet all the requirements well, well who has 13 days right i mean who knows what's going to happen with the spread of this stuff uh, oops i feel like this is something we should have thought of before we collected all that blood <laughs> <laughs> well, i know <laughs> well, by the way when is <laughs> oh, we meant we can put it in the fridge for a while, right? We just have to get one of those hotels with the mini fridges. Oh man! So yeah, it's it's your call. All right, you're. I I I am. We've got all the stuff, right? So yeah. the timing. Again, a little what could go wrong? What's all the news? We want the guy to show up, so yeah. that would be the only problem with. How, how essential is the uh, is the moon to the whole ritual there, Alton? It, it's it's simply mentioned, as is so many of these things. It, it's not it's not like this is required. It says on the night of the new moon, and uh huh. I see. Just... Okay, sure. I mean, uh, who knows? I mean, yeah. it said night, so if we wait till night, then we're partially there. <laughs> Apparently, we can get more blood whenever we want, so that's cool. Right <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes. now, and if nothing happens. And... All right, so we both, it has to be a night, though. Vote to go ahead? Yeah, I yeah. vote to go ahead tonight. Okay. I just want my, my vote on record. <laughs> we, we all get eaten by this thing. I was right. Okay, so who's going in the disaster house? Who's Not... staying out? I mean, okay. I, I guess we're just going to hang out and wait, right? But we okay. have to. But we have to cover. Are we, if we're going to do the ritual in the courtyard, we have to go to the courtyard. Yeah, yeah. And somebody's going to have to cover all the does it. I mean, that's supposed. That's only supposed to take a few minutes to get there, though, right? From where? Well, we're yeah, parking. that's not the issue. The issue is when we go into the big, the house full of, you know, messed up crackheads, who are disease carriers. 
we're gonna have to fend them off while we're in there mm -hmm. potentially oh well, they were pretty dormant last time we were there that's true it was daytime except for that one guy except for the one guy who's gone through apotheosis or whatever he did so um so i say we all go in and cover alt him while he does the ritual and be prepared with the explosives to take out Okay. We want to wait till nighttime, or do it in the day. Well, I mean, if, if we're already got... missing on the moon thing, why, why wait, right? <laughs> it's up to you. I think night would get us a little further to it. But you're right. I mean, it's in terms of these things fighting these things off, daytime's better. Okay. So you guys going in? Everybody? Well, big thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like doing this in broad daylight. It, it, it doesn't feel right because we're going to be blowing this place up and then running away from it. Yeah. Okay. I agree. To Nine a car better. and then driving okay. away. Can we just wait? Concern is the whole reason for doing this in the daytime was, you know, it would keep those things from coming out at us. Well, we'll just have to deal with it. Okay. So right. what's the plan? So we just kick it until nighttime. Oh, yeah. okay. You're going to squat in the high grass and watch the building until night? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, thunderstorms arrive, as they are wont to do. It doesn't rain. Um, you know, occasionally you'll feel a, a, a drip on your head, but it, rain never comes. The air is super humid. Um, and, you know, it's the night bugs come out, and you can hear crickets. And you're watching this building. No one seems to come in or out for the uh, five hours you sit there. Mm -hmm. So finally, when full dark hits, you stand and begin crossing the plank to the building. So Dennis, the, the layout on these bungalows, as I understood it, was that there are four of them that sort of all the backs yeah. face onto the courtyard. Yeah. So, so are, there, are there gaps between them? Like, are there little crawl space and walkways between? So we could get into the courtyard without going through a building. Yeah, there are walkways. They can't fit vehicles. But there's a walkway and there's a door on either side. It's basically where people put their garbage cans and stuff right. like that. Okay. You you could try, yeah. You could just walk through there. It's better, I think, than going through the rooms full of them. All right. Green, Clearly, you, we've you have the highest strength score, right? I am very strong, but not very fast. Okay. Well, you can be carrying the big sixty-pound yeah. bag of of bombs. Plus I'm <laughs> the only one who's actually thrown grenades before. Right. That's true. Um, okay. I've got a shotgun. Who else who else who has the other shotgun? I mean we've got I'll, duffel I'll we've got duffel bags for those while we're advancing on the place, but Okay. Tig, I have firearms. Tig has the other thing. shotgun. <clears throat> and Alton has the Alton has the book. Yep. Okay, so you guys, you guys march in kind of a somber single file, holding lots of bags in the dark as yeah. thunder rumbles ahead. Yeah. Uh, uh, gr uh, green, you see these little alleyways, but you also see darkened shapes that you think are people lying in them. Um, if you want to continue down one of them, uh, your you know, your military training basically says it's a, it's a it's a wonderful little kill box yeah. if someone was to be shooting at you. Well, the, I mean, the other issue, the only other way in is to go in through the, ha through the house. Yeah. So I don't know if it's any better. Um, um, yeah, that's true. I don't think they're going to, uh, from what we saw, they didn't have weapons as far as we could see, right? No, no, you didn't see any weapons. Lying around, Who needs weapons drugged up, have... and oh, pooping okay. in buckets. Yeah. <laughs> so who's... What are you doing? Are you going up one of these little alleys, or are you going into the building? I say we go through the alley. It'll take us straight into the courtyard. The courtyard's a better place to do the ritual, and then we can cover Alton while he does it from anything coming out of the houses into the courtyard. Okay. So we all have ski masks on, or are we just just hoping sure. for Sure. Well, I don't think anybody here ideally is going to identify us. No. Yeah, yeah, they're not reliable witnesses, I would think. Uh, oh, okay, so you wander up uh, this kind of, you know, it's maybe six and a half feet wide uh, alley. You can see where the light kind of opens up ahead into the courtyard. 
um, and you skirt a man lying on his back with his back to the wall, halfway kind of propped up on the wall, who eyeballs you as you walk past but doesn't move. Um, his it, face it, is kind of up. Yeah, his face is covered in sores that you've seen before. Um, and it basically goes, you know, Green leads the way, then Killian, then Tignello, then Alton. And when Alton passes, he starts pulling himself forward on the ground towards Alton. And Alton skips back a little bit, back to the wall on the far side. And uh, he's saying, my lord, my lord, and is pulling himself towards Alton. This is encouraging. <clears throat> Sounds like we might be successful. Yeah. Is that what we want, though? <laughs> um, he's not. He's not like attacking you. He's trying to grab onto your leg. So I. Like your pants. I, I hand the book to, to whoever is closest to me. Okay. okay. Does um, he no, he's he's, he he's utterly fixed on you. He has now crawled up to your knee. Crap! It must but, be whatever but that horrible thing is in me. <laughs> he's putting his weight on you you know like oh, kind God. of pulling up yeah, well, just, just push him, him kick him off yeah that's i'll, I'll kick him in the face <laughs> okay <laughs> give me an unarmed combat roll let's see what's my unarmed combat that's fun. 60 percent <laughs> so <laughs> that's not bad oh yeah 17. okay you 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 basically plant your foot on his upper chest and shove him into the wall, which rattles him completely, and he collapses into a pile. Uh, he, he doesn't get back up. He's just groaning over there. Um, you guys make it into the courtyard. Uh, the courtyard is maybe 35 feet wide square. Uh, it has the ruins of a obviously, for some reason, sledgehammered fountain in the middle. Um, it's been smashed to bits, so there's just <laughs> jutting metal used to kind of spray the fountain and then just rocks all over the place. Um, there's a bunch of kind of semi-ruined lawn chairs chucked out here. There's piles of garbage from inside the bungalows, obviously just shoved out the back door. And, um, but there's a large central area that opens onto the sky that Alton thinks could be usable for the ritual. So is anybody else having second thoughts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, but do we gotta do this? Are we sure this is a good idea? No. Because all these signs are pointing towards yeah, totally. You guys should totally do this, which makes me not want to do it again. <laughs> to like call the god, like to bring the god in. Yes. I yes. think that's the goal of whoever's honestly yes. that they yes. want us to do it and know yes. that we can't kill them. Yes. So we just have to be sure we kill him. Um, well, since he provided the stuff we're going to use to try to kill him, it strikes me as rather, you know, unless he's a suicidal god, this is scream. I mean, I'm with you. Don't don't think that I don't think you're right. I mean, you probably are. There, there's but I don't think another... that that there's any other choice that we I can. I don't know. Make. There must be another choice. Cause this is a little <laughs> bit too convenient for, you know. Uh huh. Come up with something, somebody. Yeah, I'm. This I mean, is we're it for here. Me. This is the place. So what do we do. It? If if we if we're gonna do it, let's do it. If we if we're not, we need we need another we need another angle. Yep. I'm happy to hear another angle. I can't think of one, but I want to hear one. I'm voting. Alton. Uh, I'm voting that somebody else think of another angle if they can, but if they can't, then we should. Because I do. I think it's a very iffy at best plan, but I just don't see what other choice we have in this time and moment, time and place. So y'all didn't explore around here much. Well, you ran into. I got attacked by that thing, that yeah. big bad guy. All right. Well, my immediate suggestion is, well, let's just try grenading the hell out of these things, and then 
You mean do that first and see what problem. happens. And not, God, I mean, we have one shot at it. If we're gonna, if we do that, then that's we're done. We're not gonna do the summoning. We're not gonna get another shot at getting it. I mean, thing. I, I don't, I don't think that our benefactor at the bookstore is this horrible god that we're talking about because he wasn't all diseased he wasn't all weird you know i mean he was he weird was a... but a different kind of weird <laughs> then, then who is he and why is he doing this i, I don't know i don't like any of this <laughs> i don't either maybe it's somebody with a grudge when, when, when and they want us to do their dirty work druggies start crawling at me calling me my lord as I'm holding a magic summoning book and we're about to perform a ritual in where his stronghold was that just screams you know maybe we should rethink this thing. or 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 somebody is trying to help us along we didn't get the bag of grenades of that that's i don't i don't i don't like any of this they could get far <laughs> Here's my thing. If that was his goal, he could have found a lot a lot of other people willing to do this that don't want to kill this god. You know? The, the weirdos that come in and out of that shop, so... So you guys are having this heated argument in the middle... Yeah, yeah I'm looking at the <laughs> yeah, I'm watching the entrances from the houses. Okay, I mean, you see figures in the windows every once in a while, but they they don't seem nearly as kinetic as they were last time let's do it all right if we're gonna do this we need to just do it if we're do gonna it. summon this thing what are we doing we're, we're hoping that he's gonna show up in the middle of the fountain and yes and we're gonna and then we're gonna blow his shit up so, so while alton's for the ritual right. i will go around with the jerry cans and be dousing like rooftop roofs with with gasoline and stuff okay yeah that's no problem you 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 lay out a a field of uh, explosive flame waiting to happen. Where are you putting the grenades, and who's hanging on to them, and what? who's being armed with what, and where are you standing? Yeah, I mean, that's Green's responsibility. I'm going to have most of the grenades. I guess I'll hand out the, the two, the two or three of the easiest to use ones to everybody else. OK. I'll keep the incendiary with me. There's only one. You just pull the pin and throw it? Is that right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> In the direction of the one you want to blow up, right? <laughs> and, and throw the grenade. So, so let's make a plan here, though. When the thing appears, everybody retreat to the alleyway we came in through, and we'll throw grenades from there. Yes. And you're you're dousing around. Yes, I'm dousing them around the other parts of the bungalows. And around where we're summoning. Sure, and around yes. the summoning. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Let's get this over with. So. <laughs> but I've just got my pistol and a bunch of grenades. And Killian has a shotgun. Tigonora has a shotgun. Alton, you have you have all your stuff set up yeah. in about uh, forty minutes. Uh, you've drawn, you know, pentacles and pentagrams and put them, you know, the trail of uh, ground amber and the trail of uh, ground belladonna and all this other kind of stuff that's required. You have it all set up, kind of in the the ruined fountain. Um, and you have the little book kind of flipped open to the ritual page. Uh, you know, it, again, it's thunder above. And while you can feel the shotguns at your back. Uh, these guys waiting on you. So, Yeah, I'm half expecting okay. the god to come out of him privately. Yeah, I'm pretty much expecting that too. So I'm like, you guys remember, you know, being in me. <laughs> it's okay. So who's... Uh, I, I need a 90, the 99 minus your sand roll. 63. Okay, roll that. Thirty. Okay, and Alton, give me a luck roll. I need to know everybody's pal. Power. Ten. Zero four. That's lucky. Zero. Succeeds. My pal is. Just the straight score? Yeah. Nine. Okay. Tiganello? Twelve. Green? Ten. Killian? Fourteen. Killian, give me a luck roll. Yes. No power. Do it right, 
son. Ooh. That is not right. <laughs> Come on. Okay, Killian. Uh-huh. Alton is Alton is chanting in in uh, Assyrian. Um and uh as as the chant becomes kind of this repeating sound in your head, um you start to have these weird kind of daydream moments where you can almost see um bald men in white robes chopping the heads off of animals one after another on top of this pyramid this flattened pyramid with gold inlaid at the top um and you kind of shake yourself out of it a couple times yeah i don't want to see um, that yeah um anyway uh give me a sand roll killian That's good. Keep it together. Success. Holding it. Holding it together. <laughs> okay. 1d6 sand. All right. Okay. Two. Um, so uh, shaking, you drop the shotgun, but snatch it back up off the ground um, as this chant kind of continues. Who had the 12? Me. Pal. Okay, Tiganello. You're gonna need to make a, a a luck roll. Oh no, sorry, sand roll. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, here's what happens. Uh, and unfortunately, Killian, you're gonna get double build. Awesome. So, Killian, Green, Alton, sand rolls, please. Damn it. Oh yeah, I am unfazed. Yep. If I miss it. Oh, oh Killian. Uh, critical uh. success. Oh good. Oh, okay. you're, you're, you're way more safe. You're way way more safe. Okay, uh, so Killian, you take one. All right. Uh, who failed? I did. Alton, roll a one d twenty. D twenty. I told you this is a bad idea. <laughs> Holy oh, oh, my God. <laughs> I had 36, so that's way below my breaking point. Uh, okay, so... Remember, you can burn you're, you're... a D4 of that off on a bond. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that that matters. Okay, just so, all the way, so just to describe what happens, uh, Killian and Green, um, you don't know when Tiganello started to convulse but it was very quiet and this chanting that Alton has been doing has been kind of fucking with your mind for the last 35 minutes um, but as you turn to her you realize she's shifting in kind of space um, she seems almost like she's rendered on a flat surface as you move to the side she keeps snapping into focus in three dimensions and uh, she stumbles back uh, collapses to the ground, uh, and you hear horrible popping noises of cartilage and bone moving around. Um, and then, Green, you've seen it before. Um, the face just seems to vanish in some sort of card trick. Um, and when she stands up, she stands up a good foot and a half taller. Uh, her clothes are ripped to shreds. Her hands are huge. Uh, almost ape-like, and have uh, a ring of shark-like teeth on them. And whatever it is has no head. Um, everybody's at minus 20% uh, on all skill rolls. Anybody who um, failed, roll a 1d6. Failed the sand roll? Yeah. That's me. And Alton, we'll deal with your insanity in a second this is on top of the 19 alton just lost yeah six alton alton's entire existence yeah. right now is holding still for six turns going uh, <laughs> uh, but basically post that alton um your entire motivation and in the in the world is to run like a motherfucker in the opposite direction of whatever this thing is 
Yeah. Um, now this is a huge form, maybe nine feet tall total, no head, um, remnants of clothing it is glowing. Um, the whole room seems to shake whenever you bring your eyes to look at it. Uh, and it's right next to green and Killian. Blow it um, up. Let's like go. Your, Let's go. Fuck this. Your, Blow it up. Your, yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to run. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about Alton? You see Alton just. Is, what about him? You left, <laughs> you left the grenades, right? I have the grenades. I have the majority of the grenades on me. Okay. They're going to be thrown. Okay. We need to Let's we need do... to blow up this motherfucker with that whole bag of grenades. Do it. Everybody tell me your tell me your dexterity. Oh no. 6. Can't... 6? Yeah. Holy shit. He's got that bum leg. 13. Uh, that matters. 13. Uh take it hello, sorry. Here. Oh, Here. yeah, I don't it doesn't matter with me, does it? No, you're elsewhere. Kill yeah. Damn it. Uh, Killian, what, what's yours? Ten. Okay, and we'll just add. Here we go. <laughs> Move Tigadello to the top of the page. Yeah. <laughs> Let's add. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, Tigadello. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's not how you spell my name. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, roll 1d6. Uh, Kevin, you might have been right in your assessment of this plan. <laughs> <laughs> one, to three, one to three, it'll be Killian. Uh, uh, four to six, it'll be Green. Hey, what about what about Alton? She, Killian, he's not near. He's not near Alton yet. All right. Uh, I'm yeah. dessert. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Once per turn, and okay. Um, so it it grabs Killian. Can I like this? Can I dodge? You can, you can dodge. Yeah, I would love to dodge. <laughs> you can your dodge roll. Can I get a bonus for really, really wanting to dodge? No, actually, actually, in fact, you get a minus twenty percent on your dodge. Remember that. Oh, good. And that, <laughs> then I definitely miss. Okay. Um, hang on. Here we go. Everybody's going to make it out. Seven hit points damage. Um, it removes a good chunk of your shoulder muscle. Yeah, I imagine uh, so. And as it pulls its hand back, you can see the mouth is actually chewing it. Uh, uh with deep enjoyment. Uh, Alton, hey, hold you on, are Dennis, frozen Did, I, did I get any hit points back uh, over the last whatever it was, day or two? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just assume the normal healing process. Um, Alton, uh, if you... Actually, you're, you're completely bonkers right now, right? Yeah, I have seven sand left. <laughs> My breaking point was 27. Holy shit, you shot way past that. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you're um, you you're goggling uh, at this thing, and you will be for the next couple turns. Uh, hopefully, Killian and Green can give it a something to eat. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Killian, you're up. Uh, I don't you're... have to outrun it. I just need to outrun you guys. <laughs> yeah, um, I uh, I would really love to to sprint away from here, far far away from here. Okay. Is that an option? Okay. Um, you can run up one of the other hallways, one of the other kind of... The problem is this thing collapsed in your escape path. Mm -hmm. So the other areas are covered in gasoline and rigged up by green to be death traps. Right. But, you you know, there are three other, uh, you know, little alleyways you can run up to get out of the bungalow area. Um or you can run past it. Yeah, I, I mean, at this point, I'm torn to. I, I'm suddenly torn to shreds. So, yeah. I mean, whatever looks like the way out. I'm. I'm the closest way out is a door to the bungalow. It's just an open, gaping door you could run into. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that because I'm. I'm imagining there's another door at the other end of that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So you you throw yourself you know, into this 
rotted out kitchen uh, and slam into the far wall, leaving a huge blood mark from your shoulder wound mm -hmm. on, on the wall. But you're inside, and outside, you can hear, it sounds like a, you're next to um, like an electrical transformer. You can smell it in the air, even in here. Uh, it's like, eh, it's going on outside in the, in the main area. Um, but you're inside, you're, you're away from it. It would have to come through the door. You're not even sure it could fit. Do I still have um, that shotgun? You do, and clutched in one hand, and you're not sure how well your other hand will move to use it, but right. you got it. Right. Um, Green, you're up. You're right, staring right. at this horrible thing. Yeah, I'm going to start hobbling away towards one of the other alleyways. Okay. I'm going to pitch. The question is incendiary or explosive first? All. <laughs> the answer is explosive. all of them. Okay, yes. the time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, explosive first. Okay, so just to be clear, there's one alleyway that was a clear exit, and right. it is currently standing right in front of that. So you're going to run past it, or yeah. you're going to go down one of the other alleys? I'm going down the other way, back and out. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to pitch, try yeah. to pitch a grenade just beyond it. If you, okay. If you detonate a grenade in that bag, it'll make all the grenades explode, right? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, okay, so that's an athletics roll. Is it? Yeah. No, because I suck at that. Okay. Throwing a hand grenade? Yeah, it's an athletics roll. Okay. But it, you, if it's an area thing, it gets a plus 20. Or minus 20 in this case, so. Oh, it, that just cancels it out. Yeah. 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 That's a miss. Okay. So, um, give me a luck roll. Okay. My luck is running. Right you better not <laughs> okay. blow me up. Here's what happens. You... You remember, you know, basic, you pop the pin, you chuck it, it sails past the creature, hits a bit of the flashing on the side of the wall, bounces back towards the steps that lead into the bungalow that Killian just flung himself into, uh, and goes off. And your ears are ringing, you're not injured, it, it's all directed in a different direction. But the bad news is that some of the uh, gasoline is caught on fire, and it's just going off in an arc around the courtyard where you poured it. So it's just tracking suddenly all over the place. That's fine. Uh, and uh, we're back to Lisa Golanak, who is going to go after Green. Okay, Green. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what he's going to do. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, it stumbles towards you. Are you going to dodge, I assume? I'm going to try to dodge, yes. Yes. Okay, give me the roll. Is that a success? I just missed it. Nope. Okay. Five points damage. Ah. It swats you. Give me a luck roll. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's, it swats you. The only time you've ever been hit this hard... Uh, is when you, your brother left the car and uh, didn't put it in park with the parking brake and the car rolled down the hill and struck you when you were 15 Ouch. and just threw you, you know, 15 or 20 feet into the dirt where you skidded and you were unconscious for maybe a minute. This thing hits you so hard, you sail maybe 15 or 20 feet into the fire uh, <laughs> and suffer... Uh, Third degree burns. Yeah, over your forearms. And then uh, one more luck roll. Because <laughs> you're on fire now. Yeah, so no, no. literally. <laughs> no? Is that a fail? <laughs> okay, roll. roll uh, I'm going to roll a lethality. Okay. Um, let's see. Sorry, man. That's <laughs> Good or bad? I can never tell. It's not good. Uh, yeah, it's it's it's. You hear killing? You hear? Waboom! Yeah. Outside, and then just fire raging. Well, I do have multiple grenades and an incendiary grenade on my person. Yeah, they all went off. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe um, the thing. With me. <laughs> Let's see. We're gonna roll for the thing. 
Wait a minute, I'm out there too. Yeah, Alton, um, we're going to get to you in a second. Uh, and let's see. That's our... Da, 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 da. Nope. Okay, Alton, luck roll. All right. I can't believe Alton is still alive. <laughs> Sorry, Tiganello and Green. At least Tiganello is a god now. Yeah, nope. we gotta go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like a slap in the face from fate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 50. Oh, no, 51, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, you um, suffer nine hit points damage and are thrown off your feet by the force of the explosion. Uh, you wake... you. The only upside is if you still have hit any hit points and are alive, you are awake. One hit point. Okay, you, you are you are surrounded by flame. You're awake enough just to feel the. There pain. is a god present. You are <laughs> fucking freaking out. You are shrapneled up. Your clothing is literally on fire in two portions, and you're swatting it out. But you're a good fifteen feet from this thing, and there are a half dozen doors and. Well, it you can just run if you want to. Can I run? I was frozen for like six rounds. Is yeah, this no, matter? this 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 woke your ass up. Oh shit, I'm booking it. Okay. <laughs> Alton disappears <laughs> up, up one of the alleyways. Uh, his, you know, the back of his pants is literally on fire. Um, and this whole place is just burning now. The roof is on fire. Killian, um, we're back to you, I guess. Yeah. Uh, how much? How much immediate danger am I in? Um, you are, you're, you're stumbling up a hallway from a kitchen. You can hear the roof is on fire. Shit's falling down and you can okay. smell smoke. Yeah. I just, um, I just want out. Okay. So you, you, it takes you two turns. You stumble out. Um, you find Alton face down in, in the weeds, uh, maybe 50 feet from the house, uh, in the tall grass, just literally lying on his face. And it takes you a few moments to realize he's still breathing. Uh, but when you look back, the whole building is on fire in this just huge conflagration. No one comes out. Um, and it's just burning, burning, burning. And occasionally there are detonations of something. Uh, and, you know, the, the walls collapse in certain areas. You watch this for maybe 20 or 30 minutes no, sitting, I'm not, holding I, I, your I'm, arm. I, I can't. I'm not going to. I don't want to stay that long. That's what are you going to do with Alton? You gonna leave him? Drag his ass, I guess. As uh, best I can. You, you got a choice. You can uh, have your shotgun, or you can have Alton. Uh, uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll throw the shotgun in the fire. Okay. <laughs> okay. You hear, you hear, a couple seconds later, you hear the shells go off. Um, and you're just gonna grab Alton and, and try just, and drag him. Yeah, away. I'm gonna do my best to just like fireman drag him. You know, in in agony. Okay, so if yeah, I can, you're if I can get him over my him. over my non but over my non Ruined torn to shoulder. pieces shoulder, then uh, my, that might be oh, quicker. Yeah. But I'm not do, holding up. You want to give me a, give me an athletics roll, Killian? Sure. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Okay, you you spend far too long trying to get him in a fireman's carry. Yeah, no, I'm just uh, dragging his ass. You can hear shrieking coming from the building. Not my problem. And you just you just <laughs> you just drag him, drag him, drag him out. Yeah. Uh, you guys make the wood plank. You you know you basically barely get across that without falling into the canal. Right. Uh, actually, give me a luck roll. We'll see if you do that. Because I'm a bad bad I handler i hate <laughs> i know no. nope <laughs> okay you do fall into the canal but luckily the canal is you know three feet of water with two and a half feet of mucky mud um alton sputtering and screaming uncontrollably yeah killian you're dragging him along to go towards what you realize is an overgrown used boat ramp at the end of the canal Okay. Uh, and you pull yourself up out of the water, covered in mud. Yeah. Um, blood pouring down your shoulder, and uh, it's maybe fifty yards to the car. 
now you can see it. Um, that salvation is what that is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the last glance back to the disaster house, it's nothing but a sea of fire. And you can see a form in the middle of it with no head, its arms raised to the sky uh, as it burns and it begins to rain. So you guys stumble towards the car and you throw Alton in and Alton is literally gibbering. Yeah. Uh, um, the book is gone. The explosives are gone. Tignello and Green are gone. And you just drive off. Yeah. I'm like hitting the steering wheel in frustration. <laughs> okay. And... That's a success. Okay. What you're talking about. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. I'm really, I'm actually glad it wasn't Alton. I thought it was going to be Alton. <laughs> I just, I just can't believe that the horrible, like, unnatural cultist lied to us. <laughs> well, I'm just wondering, where did our plan go wrong? Everything was perfect. <laughs> it's SOP. If you have an opportunity to summon a horrible god, you summon the horrible god, right? Jesus Christ. Christ. Retired as a god. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, Tiganello is going down in history. Yeah. Anyway, thank wow. you, thank you for joining us. That was quite fun for me, at least. That was, it was, it was fun. It always me. is, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was definitely imagining Green's end as the guy with the sticky bomb and saving Private Ryan. <laughs> yeah. He just got. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> it was quick. Yeah. yeah, it was definitely quick. You 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 didn't get tortured by an evil god. That's a good thing. So I guess Alton is gonna end up institutionalized. Off at a... Alton is definitely yeah. not. Yes. He's not. He's swimming in the deep end with no water <laughs> wings right now. Yeah. That's too bad. What, what did you What did you what have it? at the end of that? Sanity was seven. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. That's. Then. That's a that's a rarity. You usually don't balance on that razor's edge of like <laughs> sub ten. Sad. You're gonna be like in group chat, you know, <laughs> yellow dots and watching the Cosby show and reruns. <laughs> Muttering in a serious. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then we stumbled the god in far rock away. It was great. Um no, that was cool. Thanks guys. Wow. Yeah, that was fun, Dennis. Thanks. Yeah, it was a good run. Right. It was. So Dennis, what are you thinking? Are you wanting to uh, are you wanting to uh, to continue with this uh, with this campaign with a mostly new crew, or uh, or, or did you have uh, a thought at all? I I think this is done. Uh, I, I think I think. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a couple ways to look at. It. There's more to investigate that you guys didn't touch upon. But having said that, I think you guys have expended. Uh, he went right for the carotid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was like, fuck this. We're just going gonna... <laughs> to. D Day was. If D Day was like, we're going to drop our guys on Berlin. Yeah. Day one. We're going to lose 60% getting them in there by airplane, but we're just going to do it. Who was the little guy? Oh, it was Steven Alziz. Um, he, he's playing games. He. he Robert E. Bear and, and Glacky and Golanak have a long history, and this is their first little exchange. And he just didn't want to have to deal with his number two being distracted. And he's fully aware of what you guys are doing f by very unnatural means. Mm. Um, so he was just having fun. I mean, this is the rivalry between uh, Golanak and Glacky have a long history, and it, it finally plays out later in the the Fate War. But early on, this is just. Golanak um, kiting about like a teenager. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Glacky territory. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so, glad we anyway, could pitch was, in. Yeah. That, was, that was fun. <laughs> Killian was like, it was the look on Killian's face when he found the man there reading was quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> I, I also like the annotated version of the Revelations of Glacky. Incorrect. This was wrong. This was 871 AD. Um, so anyway, that was awesome. fun. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. Well, um, what I would say is uh, Killian, Killian is the only true survivor. Maybe we can pick up with Killian in a new cell. 
uh, for the next mission in like say 1992 or something like that. And Killian is fully recovered and is now an old hand. Mm -hmm. Um, Maybe it's up to you guys, or we can just um, take it to the modern day and start new characters. Yeah, I could go either. I mean, I lo- I enjoy playing Killy, and I think he's a, he's a fun character. But but you know, well, I'm, we, but we but might want to set a, we we might want to set a nice precedent where whoever survives, we just carry them on forward. Yeah, I like and if that. we have a TPK, we just start again. Yeah, right. that works. <laughs> sure. okay. I like the, I like the period stuff too. So jumping to ninety two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I figure we can't go too far with Killian. Um, yeah. And if you can make it to retirement, Killian, you know, <laughs> well, <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. That was really fun. All right. Thanks for uh, thanks for running back to us. Bye. All right. See everybody later. Okay.